Alrighty folks, this is 1120 3rd Street. This is the $23,000 house of the bunch, which is just insane. Uh, next to it we've got a kind of a multi-family place. It looks like there's four units in there. House next door, who knows what's going on there. And then you've got this, you know, probably 20 plex or so over there. But yeah, let's take a look. They call this a one bedroom, one bath. Only 544 square feet. It is, of course, uninsured, which you come to expect at this price. Got little things like this. Fairly new window. They just never finished it up. You know, just carelessness, really. And then, you know, like that. But you've got this kind of L-shaped living room that we walk into. Here's the, the one bedroom that they're calling. There is another bedroom down in the basement that strikes me as being legit. Bathroom, not bad. Just, uh, you know, mildew and stuff everywhere. The house is old, of course. It's 1925. Here's the closet. Fairly small. Let's hit the backyard real quick because I actually like the garage the best. We'll save that for last. Little wood deck. And backyard, you've got a bit of a kind of a garden area back there. Maybe it was just a dog run, I'm not exactly sure. And what looks like a pad for a shed back there in the corner of the lot. Mishmash of windows, just a mishmash, mishmash of stuff. Just, you know, kind of typically. But this one is, it's funky. It's missing a cabinet or two or three. Doesn't have any appliances. But I, you know, I honestly like this place, you know. Obviously when, when you get a $23,000 house, you can't really expect too much. You've got these neat kind of semi-spiral concrete steps. And here's the basement. That's, again, it's, it's not bad down here. It's not, uh, you know, I don't see a bunch of mold or anything like that, but it's, you know, definitely just a cellar. But its ceilings are high enough. It's very usable. And here's the uh, bedroom. So it's, it's actually fairly decent size. We do have an egress window and a bit of a closet, just something kind of built up in the corner there. So let me see what they say here. Repair plumbing system, install firewall between house and garage, repair heating system. Typical stuff, but check out this garage. Not at all as I expecting. So this one, I mean, it, I mean they worked on some cars in here. You, you, can, you can smell it. It's just really, it's just kind of cool, you know? But there's where they're talking about needing a firewall. And, and you've got a little bit of a shop in here. You know? It's pretty cool. I mean, if I were to wager a guess on the size of this garage, I'd say it's probably 600 square feet. Um, I don't really know. We may have an old, old listing to kind of draw on. But anyway, there you have it. For only 23 grand, I mean, I think this... Uh, it's going to work out for someone as long as they don't need to go FHA. Um, it would be a cool fixer-upper. The houses around it aren't bad. And yeah, 23 grand, 1120, 3rd Street.